So, drawn peg 26 again, right in the house, round one, the winner of the league, uh, blowing a hoodie. They did say 28 did win it during the week, but uh, I would sooner fancy it over there where Jason Robertson is, peg 34. And then normal drill, sort of like 9 and 10, and 23. Um, so yeah, we will see. Fans so just shouted out the all in. So 30 meters straight in front of me, I'm going to cup in some fishery micros and a few fishery fours and a couple of grains of corn. It's so quite a negative line. Yeah. Hopefully catch some uh, big skimmers or um, if I'm really lucky, might just catch some carp. And then to my left, I'm going to cup in five, not massive balls, but reasonable sized balls of ground bait, which is uh, the Hinder Seafood Expander Mix, mixed very wet. Um, so it's quite a... a dense you know no messing around balls quite hard so go straight down in the bottom i've got a few grains of corn uh, quite a few dead maggots and a few fishery pellets so it's quite a, an aggressive sort of feed but i'm, I'm hoping that some some fish will settle on that i'm gonna start on the method feeder and hope, hopefully catch an idiot carp
So I finally looked the car up and the method against the island uh, and it come off. Uh, best to laugh rather than cry, I guess. No point like getting in a hissy fit has come off, so get over it, innit? So uh, quickly reload back up, fishing a lasso, eight mil pallet. Um, on a hybrid, just gently like push the pallet into the hybrid when I first load it up, then load it up again on top, if that makes sense. Just fishery micros, nothing special. No crazy glugs that don't yeah, exist. Um, and then cast it out after Magoo taking the mickey out of me. We're turning the camera on and then straight into the island. Would you believe it? So the beauty of fishing a method feeder, because um, obviously the the hook's buried into the um, method, so therefore lucky enough it doesn't. Sometimes you get it back because obviously the hook hasn't gone into a tree or or the bush or what have you. Um, so quickly reload it and chuck it again. Maybe I ain't that quick at reloading, watching the video back. We're definitely in a method pro. We'll right the corner of the island and obviously make sure you sink your line. And as Tommy Pickering would say, don't move that feeder. Um, it's really shallow against that corner of the island, but as it turned out, the fish did actually want to be in the shallow water. I was talk, talking to the lads after the match because obviously this is a voiceover afterwards. Um, a lot of people did catch down the edge, so I think the fish did did want to be shallow. Chatting to Gary Watts, he said quite a lot of fish got caught shallow at Manor Farm on uh, Middlepool, so just show it after all this rain. Um, my method set up just a 24 gram method feeder, um, 023 main line, and an 020 uh, hook length. Uh, size 14 QM1 hook, nothing special. Uh, no, I don't see the point of messing around. And also, while I'm waiting for bites, just make sure you carefully feed um, your peg with a catapult. As you can see, the ducks are actually coming towards the feed. So, in a sec, I'm pretty sure I actually feed it short to make them ducks actually go to where I've just fed. So, you notice I don't pull it so hard. So actually feed the ducks. So perhaps the last thing I want to do is them diving down down my edge. I know sometimes that can work. Like feed a load of bait down the edge, get the ducks all like eating it and stirring it all up. But I didn't want to do that today. Uh, the pole over that ground bait line was just absolutely ran for the little roach. To be honest, I had him even fizzing. Um, I didn't really catch any um, proper skimmers over it. I probably only had four like, and size ones. Um, so yeah, I've, I failed miserably really trying to catch skimmers, which is maybe a good thing for me because I might have got a bit um, of sight of catching loads of silvers. So it made me fish down that edge, which was a good thing. So um, edge rig was 020 straight through to a size 16 hook. Um, and I just fished a six mil expander to start off with and literally just starved them on the hook, really. Fed micros in a few four mils by a toss pot and I did loose feed a few four mils just to make a little bit of noise down the edge. So the toss pot is just trying to concentrate a little bit of feed or as people say, set a trap. And then loose feeding over the top, not like loads, hardly anything to be fair, just to make a bit of noise and spread it around. So it looks like someone's like chucked a little bit of bait in, so not to uh, add danger if that makes sense. So there's a bit of bait, bait spread around. Um, I only had nine carp for £89, so, and two of them were probably about six pounders. So it was a proper stamp of fish. I guess that's why they call it the Specy Lake now.
So I had to be quite patient down the edge to wait for the bites. So, you know, if you think about it, if you're happy to sit on a method feeder for 30 minutes, potentially waiting for the rod to go around or even longer in winter, which some venues I've done, then I feel that you've got to do the same potentially down, down the edge. So sometimes I was waiting maybe, I don't know, looking back at the video, maybe five, eight minutes for bites. And to be honest with you, it's probably a good thing when I weren't getting bites down the edge. That might sound really weird. If I was getting bitted out by like skimmers or roach on pellets, then I realised then that obviously there's no carp there. So I might want to refeed it or rest it. But when I went down the edge and didn't get any bites, then I just sit there and wait. Uh, and as soon as I start getting bitted out, then I come off it and, and like basically refeed. Um, use Dan's elastic, two mil. And uh, like I said before earlier in the video, I just used O20 line straight through, so I didn't see the point of messing around with such big fish. So, you know, I'd sooner sacrifice getting less bites and the ones I could actually get out rather than, you know, fishing, petrified fishing my O40 and hook lengths because I feel these fish are still fighting unbelievably hard um, for the time of year. So we are in November and it is quite cold now.
So I had a great day. I had nine carp for £89 and then £5 a roach. It's put me third overall at the moment uh, with one point, so happy days. But if you look at the weight, you can see it's ever so tight. You think of the size of the fish, you know, only really one or two fish are separated. I've had 94. Stitch had 77. Jason Robinson had 67. And there's been a couple of 50s, so very tight.